In this video, we are going to talk about the preserve and restore command. And now, let me give you a scenario. Let's say you are uh, making a do file or a program and uh, you want to perform certain commands that would destroy or alter the data set. And then later on, you want to perform certain commands on the original data set. But now you have altered the data and there is no uh, going back or undoing the changes that you have performed in, on the data set. And also you do not want to, uh, one way is to save the temporary file on your hard drive, but you somehow do not want to do that. And you want a clean way so that you can go back to the original data set. This is where the preserve and restore comes in. So you first preserve the data and do not store a copy on your hard drive, rather keep it in its physical memory. Obviously, if the file size is larger, it can store, but then that is a temporary file and uh, it would uh, automatically be deleted later on. But mostly it would store it in its physical memory, its, its RAM. And then later on, uh, at the end of the program, uh, it would automatically restore that original data set or restore the original data set if you ask it, if you use the restore command. So let's use the reserve and pre-store. So let's, uh, let's say we have this auto data set and we want, uh, we have these price, mileage and weight variables, right? And there are other variables, but these are of uh, interest. And what we do is we have this data set of foreign where we, uh, we have a, a categorical variable of domestic and foreign. We want to take the mean value of price, mean value of MPG, mean of weight for domestic and foreign car. So we know that the command that we use is collapse. So we do collapse and if you are not familiar with collapse, I have a video on that. I would give the link in the description. You can go back and look into the collapse. Command. But anyhow, it is not necessary that you would use collapse command. It can be any command that would alter the data. It can just be a drop dropping of a variable. So collapse mean we collapse the different variables using foreign variable. So if we execute this, we get the mean value of price, MPG weight for domestic and foreign car. But you can see how we have altered the data and the original data set is lost. Okay. And we wanted to perform certain commands on the original data set, but now we do not have it. So let's anyhow get back to the original data set using our uh, centuries old method of using sysuse auto command. Now what we do is this time we are again going to use the uh, the same command, the collapse command that we used over here. But before using that command, we would use preserve, right? And what happens is when uh, we perform these commands, this list would just give us the first two rows of values and that's it, right? So I execute this command, but you see that now I have still the same data set that I previously had. What have, uh, but I again get the uh, the mean value of price, MPG and weight for domestic and foreign car. What have happened is that this uh, highlighted code is, is the sort of a program. And what Stata does it, when I say preserve, it preserves the uh, the original data set that was currently in the Strata memory. And, and after the program was ended, and in this case, the program is the highlighted code. In your case, it can just be the whole do file. As soon as the, 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 the command ends, the do file, the program ends, it would restore it automatically. So do not have to say the word restore it would happen automatically. So let me do this using some uh, drop command. So let's say we use preserve and let's say drop price and MPG. And obviously now I need uh, to uh, generate certain variables or perform certain analysis on price. So we need to summarize price, right? but I have dropped price. What would happen if I, uh, 
uh, if 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 I drop the price an MPG, I cannot perform the summarize command. But see what happens is if I select preserve and drop, the this these commands would end after drop the line seventeen. And as soon as these these two command ends, although I have dropped the price and variables, at the end of this do file the original data set would be restored and we would have the price and a mileage variable over there. So you can see that although the drop price MPG had been executed, but we have restored our data. So this is how it works. We do preserve, right? And let's drop price MPG and then we restore and the price and mileage uh, gets back. So let me just do it again so we can see that price and mileage had been dropped and then we restore these uh, these and the same had happened over here so uh, okay so this is the same command uh, same uh, data set but now we have explicitly used the restore in our program right so this would again give us the same but what happens is that this list in one and two row uh, had been executed after the restore command. So instead of giving us these two lines, it gave us the two lines of the original data set after the restore command. So first we restored it and then we displayed the first two lines. So uh, this command, this preserve and restore command is particularly useful when you're working with a program, you have a program, but in general use it, uh, there are other methods that you can use like data frames, etc. Um, uh, for your day-to-day -day routine, but for programs, you can use preserve and restore. But one more thing that you need to remember is, let's say if I executed preserve over here, right? And then I collapsed. And if I were to use restore again, it would give me an error saying that nothing is, to, nothing is there to restore. Although I did preserve, and the reason is that you'd have to simultaneously execute this. Uh, it is similar to the local and the global, uh, rather local commands. So you'd have to simultaneously use it. And obviously in, in do files, you'd just run the whole do file. So it would simultaneously be executed. So uh, that was regarding preserve and restore. I hope uh, you have enjoyed the video. Uh, do hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Uh, thanks for watching the video.